Look at this shot by Kevin Na. Chipped it with the toe of his putter and made it. Are you kidding me? Nah, not kidding. He was quite the entertainer this week, fist pumping before putts even dropped. Hammers it home. What a great stroke. He also had an epic club drop. Get down somehow. His ball listened and rode the slope. But this is going to be a good one. <laughs> you played here before, how do you? Yes, yes. Yes. Before, how you He's also had an epic club drop before. Remember the 2015 Players' Championship? Good line. Oh my gosh. You would have thought that was in the water. Golf is a humbling game just when we think we're playing with swagger. We actually look more like this. Oh gosh, almost topped it. Oh my goodness. No one is exempt. Oh, uh oh, oh my. 54 hole leader Sebastian Munoz shanked it on the first hole Sunday. Okay, okay. Golf is good, bad, and unusual all wrapped up into one. Just like this week at the John Deere Classic where Lucas Glover won for the first time in more than a decade. We had two aces again this week and they battled the weather. But it was nothing like these kids experienced at Top Golf. Yeah, his ball was struck by lightning mid-air and they got it on camera. Unreal. That was some crazy precision, but these guys were also right on target at TPC Deer Run, including Glover, who had five birdies in six holes to win it. Glover dialed in. Talk about being on target. We had multiple aces for the second straight week. David Hearn one-hopped it in on Saturday. The day before, Maverick McNeely at the 137-yard par three front hole location also one-hopped it in for his first hole-in-one on the PGA Tour. But this kind of accuracy, on the other hand, is a lot more relatable. Has so much speed. This one headed a little right. Oh. Hit, went right through the tree and now is out in the middle of the fairway. It sure did. I think the tree actually helped him and nudged it a little to the left. Kevin Na thought he was accurate with this one, but got faked out. He got his moment a few holes later. Look how much he released that club like a miniature golf shot and he fell it. What a shot. another shot. The announcers start out talking about Sebastian Munoz. Just such a cool guy to spend time with. Easy going, positive. So like you, but different. <laughs> what a shot. Wow. Shots fired indeed. We had plenty of trash talk at Capital One's The Match this week where Aaron Rodgers and Bryson DeChambeau took down Tom Brady and Phil Mickelson. Rodgers was walking putts in like Kevin Na. Oh, he's walking. Oh, he's walking Ooh. in. Ooh. He also learned to activate the thumbs like Phil. Thumbs up. Look at that smile, too. There you go. But it was Brady who yes. out drove mm. Bryson. Look at that. Wow. wow. He might have hit it inside, Bryson. I think he did. All that commentary was fun, but it was a special moment when three-time John Deere Classic champ Steve Stricker had his 22-year-old daughter, Bobby, who played golf at the University of Wisconsin on the call Friday. Yeah, so Dad, he's got an iron. I'm thinking that he's going for it. It's a little down breeze, so, I mean, 220, that's, what, three iron maybe? Sure. <laughs> well, looks like it's right at it, to be honest with you. Oh, oh yeah. Heck of a shot. Nice shot. Wow. Stay right there. Stay right there, He just there, needs Paul. daughter on the, on the I... microphone. <laughs> this week, if you're in the U.S., you get to wake up with the Open Championship and then watch the Barbasol Championship in the afternoon, both tournaments giving players an opportunity to grab some valuable FedEx Cup points because we only have four weeks left until the playoffs, including the Olympics. I'll have your nightly recaps in the takeaway Thursday through Saturday on PGATour.com and social media.